All right, folks, what's going on, man? It's your man, Jay. Uh, so I'm back with another one. Today actually is Saturday the 14th. In the last video I did yesterday, uh, it's December, by the way, I uh, said that my springs won't be here until Monday. Well, I got a knock at the door. And boom, they showed up. So here they are. Uh, the H&R springs are ready to go. I went to uh, the shop, though, and... Um, and they were like, nah, we, we can get you, um, we can't get you today. We just got filled up. Uh, I can go to any shop pretty much, but I wanted to go to this one particular shop because it's close to my house. So that's it, man. We on for the springs. Uh, they should be on this bad boy soon. Really hoping to get this thing lowered down on Monday morning. Uh, and then I will have a, another video sometime this week. Uh, probably gonna relocate two of the lights in the car. I'll save that for another video But if you haven't seen that video go ahead and check that video out. I uh, got my LED lights under the hood. So it's looking pretty nice uh, But yes, yeah, want to give a quick update on the car uh, The springs are in and the fender gap is about to be gone So two fingers right now in the front And then three in the back so we're gonna eliminate that and drop it down and get rid of it. It's, sometimes when I look at it, it looks like it's really low and I see other scat packs and they look they look low, but they're not even dropped. And then I see scat packs that are lowered and it's kind of like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? This, this is dropped. So after I get the suspension done, like I said in another video, I'll go ahead and uh, decide on what wheels I want. And that, that's, that's what I'm, I'm gonna go from there. Uh, but I'm super happy to actually have my suspension already here. Again, I went with H&R because they look good on the car from what I could tell. But it's coming along, man. Um, it is coming along. Trying to make this one of a kind. I, already, I just think the color is, is beautiful, man. I think the color is one of the most beautiful colors that's offered. And then the way I got mine done... Yeah, I'm excited about it. So this one, it's another one in the books. It's going down, a lot of lights. So it's going down like that. So hoping that I can, uh, I wanted to really, I could probably go to a different shop, but you know, this one is around the corner from the house. So it's like, man, you know, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to go too far and, you know, get out there too much like that. So I would rather just uh, get it done as close to the house as possible. Cause the shop I normally go to is about, an hour away, well not an hour, about 30 minutes, but with traffic, it could be an hour. So I'm trying to avoid that, but I'm ready to see how it looks lowered, man. I know it's gonna look way more aggressive. That's just how it goes. So I'm excited. So just remember two fingers up front and three in the rear. And so the front is gonna be 1.7 and the rear is gonna be 1.4 drop. So that is what we, that's what we're looking at. Yep. So if you haven't seen, I'll go ahead and pop it open and uh, get this out. If you haven't seen yet, I'll show you if you can even see it really in this video. But let's see if I can get it going. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this shows up good. Yeah, so get the lights installed. I'm going to probably relocate these two up here, especially that one. I'm going to relocate that one. Uh, but overall, I, I'm kind of loving this blue, B. This blue is nice. Yeah. It really accents it, it very well. I like that. It looks sweet. Yeah, I'm loving that. So nice clean install. It's looking pretty hot. No problems with it. That green is another one. I think the green, yeah, the green looks crazy. Yeah. That's the white. We got the jump. Jump seven. But, um, yeah. We're gonna have this thing lowered to the ground. Get it dropped. And it's gonna be ready. So if you're running H and R springs on yours, uh, let me know. 
uh, what you think about how it feels, how it rides. Um, I'm curious to know what you think about it. Because I think it's going to be pretty smooth. I'll take it for an alignment afterwards. You always should get an alignment, but you know what? Most of the cars I've gotten dropped, the only one I needed an alignment on was my 300 because I slammed it two inches or over two inches all the way around. And so the camber was off by a lot, but the tires weren't wearing or anything like that. It just sat pretty. So I wonder how much the camber would be off on this one, but we shall see. Anyway, it's your man Jay. Don't want to hold you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, let this engine cool down. I just came back and parked it in the garage. So I'm going to let this do this thing. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video, man. The springs are here. Let's do it.